Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. In this, we're going to see problem. Count days without meetings. Problem number three and four are already live. So this problem says that we are given positive integer days representing the total number of days an employee is available to work. If my days is 10, so my employee is available to work at day one, day two, day three, day four, up till day 10, all the days. As you can also say, starting from day one. Is available to work for all these number of days. Now I am also given a 2D array called as meetings, which represents that there is a meeting from this day to this day. As you can see, it says my meeting is there from day 5 to day 7, both inclusive. Now I have to return the count of number of days where the employee is available for work, but the meetings are not scheduled. We know the employee is available to work for all these days. From 1 to days, he is available. From 1 to 10, he is available. And meeting is scheduled on these days. Just check for what all days up till 1 to 10, meeting is not scheduled. That's your answer. So, we have to just find the count of such days. So, for sure, we can check that I have days from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up till day. I have these number of days. I just have to do a small check that Okay, I'll do a check. Okay, is day one, was there a meeting on day one? If yes, okay, my employee is occupied. Was there a meeting on day two? If yes, my employee is occupied. Was there a meeting on day three? If no, my, meet, my employee is not occupied. So that's how I will go on from day one to day 10 or like last day and check for each day if the meeting is there or not. Now, if I go via this route, I can easily see that my day are actually 1 in 9. I cannot even write all these 1 in 9 days and then can check for each day. Checking for each day will again could have taken maybe log n time or maybe O of n time but still iterating on all days itself is not possible. How to go about it? Simply just look at the problem. Uh, one, thing we, one thing we realized, we will go and check was, my, was there a meeting for day 1? If not then for sure my employee is not available. So, just to go on from left as in from like the day one to day up till like so on and so forth i sorted my entire meetings so as to realize or so as to figure out easily that when was my meeting there and when was my meeting not there for example in this case okay i started off from my day one and i can easily see that my meeting started also from day one which means okay for sure in the very beginning itself i am occupied Okay, no worries. Go on. Go on to the what? Go on to next meeting. For sure, I'll go on to next meeting. But then, how will, how will I know that what all meetings I actually skipped? Or basically, what all days I skipped? Or what all days were there which were having no meeting? Simply go. Again, this is a start. Check your last. Last represents the last day when meeting happened. So, for sure. From the current start, which is the current meeting, current current meeting start, up till the last, there was no meeting. If there is no meeting, for sure, I skipped those number of meetings. So how many meetings are skipped? I skipped S minus last. Phi minus three is two. But ideally, I skipped only meeting four. Only day four I skipped. If I skipped only day four, which means S start, which is this start minus last minus one, is the number of days I skipped. As you can see, I skipped only 4, which is 5 minus 3 minus 1. I skipped only one day, which is 4. Okay, no worries. Now, simple. Like, go on further. I'll go on to the next meeting. Again, last meeting happened on 7. So, okay. Like, write it like S minus last minus 1 is the contribution between intervals, which I have to take in consideration. Last meeting happened on 7th. I am starting at 9th for sure. I missed 8, which means I again missed S. 9 minus 7 minus 1. I missed again one meeting. So, this is the second meeting I missed. Sorry, second day I missed. 8. Then ultimately, last. Last will be this one. And for sure, S will be end. So, you are ended. Make sure that you ended on the last day. Means that 10 is the last meeting. What if this was like, what if this would have been 12? So, ideally, these from, from okay, your meeting ended at 10. Which means 11 and 12, both were empty days. So for these empty days, make sure to add the contribution also. But for our case, it was 10, 
so i'm good to go so i realize that my contribution which i should add should be s minus last minus one between all these meeting intervals which i have if i just hold on and tell you if this would have been 12 what you would have added in your answer you would have added two i would have added two which represents 11th and 12th day my employee was free that's the case if i apply the same logic 12 minus 10 minus 1 it will give me one as an answer so i realized on the last day when everything is done till my some days are remaining for those number of days i will find my answer as days because this is days right days minus last minus last this is for the last chunk of days which are available for the employee for the middle chunk i will use this formula s minus last minus one okay let's see let's see more on let's see more on not a more on good uh for sure i will start from day equal to one and my days covered start is same and my days also covered so i'm good to go now you might ask aryan uh initially you, will you put the day as one or zero if you put the day as one and if you apply the same formula which you showed us above which is this one so this is like ideally this is your last last day is one itself starting day and this is your s so by this formula s minus last minus one this will be one minus one minus one this will become negative so will you add a negative in your answer you can add the if condition but i will say hold on i will show you one more thing but yeah in this case i will add no contribution i will just simply move on okay this is my last this is my start Aryan, will you add s minus last minus one again bro start is two which means one two three and two to four this is start this is last you should say you skipped some meeting when your start is here and your last is here there that when you say you skipped some meeting in this case the meetings are overlapping how to know simply if your start is more than your last start is more than your last then you can say you skipped some meeting cool so i can say i skipped some meeting so okay in this case my start is not more than my last so okay i did not skip any meeting so no contribution in my answer okay ultimately this is last and my s ended this is the same case we saw ending case in the ending case we realized i have to add five minus last which is four so i'll add a five minus four is one i have one as an answer answer is one here the answer was my two cool okay let's take one more example um here in the very beginning s is starting from s is sorry s is starting from my very beginning which is a one last is also my one i can take it as consideration uh, again uh, my s is not more than last so i'll simply move on as i move on my last will come here my s is out of bounds now for sure both are same so no contribution every day my employee was busy in a meeting answer is zero let's take two more examples this example for sure last was one current meeting start was two i missed a day you can easily see i missed first day you see how it is easy when i sorted this array that's the reason we sorted the array just because we can iterate in the order meetings order of meetings and it is easy for me to also compare s and last right s is starting of the interval starting of the meeting last is the previous meeting last index or last time now okay s is here so ideally in this case last is one s you have so for sure you should add you missed a day same way you in the very beginning you missed some day the contribution will be same as the if you must have last if if you missed last you remember contribution was contribution was days minus last when you miss the ending ending stream of days if you miss the starting stream of days contribution will be s minus last in the very big and in the mid contribution will be s minus last minus one this is the thing which you have to figure out cool uh, let's simply move on the added contribution in our answer is so far one let's put it here that for the middle one i will add the contribution as s minus last minus one cool now in the very middle ones my contribution of answer is as like for this one the answer is one cool answer is contributions one now move on as i move on again this will be my s this will be my last it is for sure s is less than my last so i can simply move on make sure last you have to maximize your last last will move on last will keep on going last is just saying this is the last interval i went on 
so last interval i went on is still 5 i have reached up till 5 so even though i am moving to this last but still i am maximizing my last last is still 5 this this will say 4 you have overridden because see this says last was 5 which means you were able to reach up till 5 and this is saying 4 so it can it cannot reduce me it can only increase me so last will only increase so last we realize one we realize one more thing that last will only be maximum of existing last and my this value which is the meeting end i can say meeting end i can say cool now again uh, my last is again 5 only start is 3 it is start is less than my last so again move on as i move on okay last has now become to 8 start is my 4 okay again my start is less than my 4 so start is less than my last again move on last is again my 8 start has reached out 8 is equal to 8 i'm good so answer is only one that's how you can simply solve it cool let's see again let's see the last code uh, in the very beginning my s is here my last is here for sure it is not equal you can simply skip it um okay i went on and my last is here my start is here i miss how many days it is in between it is in between how to know our end is in between because for sure index 0 has went away this is index 1 so index 1 which means okay it is in between right now if in between i should apply the formula of s minus last minus 1 4 minus 1 minus 1 is 2 i missed day 2 and day 3 so answer contribution is 2 so far why balloons every time cool uh last uh, okay again move on move on last is here s has reached the end last and days are same so no contribution at all so answer is 2 thus this is the code cool now i'll highly comment pause the video and uh, try to code by yourself if not then let's see the code firstly i sorted my meetings so i asked to get all the meetings in the ascending order of days or time you can say last is one in the very beginning then i went on to all the meetings for the current meeting i got the start and the end of the meeting right s is the start of the meeting e is the end, end of the meeting if the start is more than my last only then if the start is more, more than my last only then i should take in consideration the gap else i okay at every time i should just maximize my last that's the only point maximum maximize my last at every point but if my start is more than my last then i i showed you that for the very first index equal to zero the this this portion you have to you have to get the consideration of s minus last the contribution is s minus last for the middle ones middle ones the contribution is s minus last minus one s minus last minus one right and for sure you might ask Arin, what about the end one you were telling yeah for the end one if the days is more than last still for the end one contribution is days minus last contribution is days minus last cool and thus make sure to always maximize your last because that interval has been done and ultimately get the answer now many people whenever these kind of interval problems comes in many people start merging the intervals bro understand the use case of the problem here the problem revolved around finding those days which are missing right so don't go about merging the intervals you will not get anything you don't want to know the biggest interval nah. you just want to know what all days are missing in these ranges thus we went on to the most easiest approach cool again uh, time is simply o of n but because of sorting it will take o of n log n time so time will be o of n log n n log n and space for sure log n space will be used internally by the sorting algorithms of java and c++ cool i hope you guys like it if yes then please do smash the like baby i know Bye-bye, take care.